Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally, nothing has started rolling out, nothing OS 2.6 for nothing phone 1. Which brings couple of changes and in this video, let's talk about every change and bug fixes what they have done. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. But before that, if you guys are new to this channel and if you think our content is useful for you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. And now let me show you the software information. So if you go to about section, here you can see now it says nothing OS 2.6, which is the latest build for nothing phone 1. This Date was recently received on nothing phone 2 and nothing phone 2a also under android version you can see it's 14 and we have the first july 2024 security patch for nothing phone 1 also i received an ota update so if you guys haven't received the notification you can go to settings system and tap on system update so this is the update which includes some new features and experience improvement later on gaming mode enhancement and after that we have some bug fixes the total update size was 85.67 mb with the first change they say they have added four new wallpapers so that can be found in the wallpaper section under nothing tab tap on more and these are the new four wallpapers i'll compare it with the previous one so here you can see this was the first wallpaper on the previous build and now it's at the fifth position so these four wallpapers have been added now on this latest build i'm generally not a fan of nothing wallpapers i always prefer using third party wallpaper applications but what do you have to say about these wallpapers let us know in the comment section below and after that next change is also under customization so they have added an option to remove the history of wallpapers which you have generated using ai so that can be found under wallpaper studio and guys i have seen previously most users saying that we are not getting the option to delete the history of wallpapers so there's one possible reason for that on the preview of wallpaper studio you at least need to have five to six wallpapers generated until you see this more tab if you have two or three wallpaper generated the more tab won't be visible and you won't get the option to delete the history so here you can see I have generated almost seven wallpapers and now I do have an option to remove or delete the wallpaper from the wallpaper studio and towards the bottom side you can see there's a description which says the history shows a maximum of 99 recently generated images so here the device will only store 99 recently generated wallpapers if you generate more the first wallpaper which you generated will be automatically deleted these are two new features what they have added and now they have also upgraded the gaming dashboard on nothing phones previously if you guys remember we had that basic gaming dashboard but now it's quite advanced and you get more options for better gaming so let me launch a game and show you guys to trigger the gaming dashboard you just have to swipe from the left side and you can see the completely redesigned gaming dashboard which also includes things like performance mode so if you are doing intense gaming you can use this mode which will prioritize the performance over the power efficiency for the incoming calls also they have added these options so if, for example if you have selected the second one and if you get any incoming call this is how it will appear which is in the pop-up view so if you select the option which is called refuse all here nothing have done a very good implementation just for example if you get an emergency call and you get a back-to-back -back call from your family members you'll see a quick pop-up towards the bottom side and this pop-up remains hardly for five seconds also you have a single tap callback option also and if i tap on callback the game will close and open the dialer application and after that we also have these options to block the notification you can choose between the default one minimal or you can completely turn off the notifications later on this feature is quite useful which says brightness lock and this was one thing which i used to miss on nothing phones while gaming you can lock the brightness directly from the gaming dashboard and at last you have an option to record the screen so these are some of the changes what they have done with the new gaming dashboard other than that there are few fixes what they have mentioned and one of them is layer to cloned application i personally never use clone application feature because i have only one primary account and i'm not sure whether users had any kind of issues layer to cloning application but if you guys had that thing have been taken care by nothing and later on they fix an issue where in some carriers allowed receiving calls but not making outgoing calls and another thing what they have fixed and that's layer to some Elements getting overlapped on the lock screen. I personally never encountered or saw that on my device. So guys, these were all the changes what Nothing have done with this latest update for Nothing Phone 1. If you guys still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below and I'll also try to drop an in-depth review video soon. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.